We have an example problem here. A 5.4 centimeter diameter, diameter circle lies in the xy plane in a region where the electric field is 1000 i hat plus 1500 j hat plus 2000 k hat newtons per coulomb. What is the electric flux through the circle? All right, so our electric field here is uniform. I know that because there's no x, y, or z variables. I have 1,000 i hat represents, represents the x direction. So the x component of the electric field is 1,000 newtons per coulomb. Similarly, the y component is 1,500 newtons per coulomb. And the z component is 2,000 newtons per coulomb. Our circle lies in the xy plane. That's important to know. Z would be coming out of the screen here. So our circle in here, its area we know is going to be pi r squared for a circle. The direction is normal to the surface. Because this circle is oriented in the xy plane, normal to that plane is the z direction. So this area vector is pi r squared in the k hat direction. So for our electric flux and a uniform electric field, we can calculate the flux by taking the electric field and dotting it with the area vector. We can write that also as Ea cosine theta, where theta is the angle between specifically the area vector and the electric field vector, which would not be something easy to find when we're dealing with a three-dimensional electric field. The easiest thing to do in this problem is going to actually do the dot product. So our electric field vector is this. We're dotting it. The area pi r squared, let's see, the radius is going to be half of that 5.4 centimeters which I'm going to put in meters. When we take the dot product or solve the dot product, we are only multiplying components of vectors that are in the same direction. So our electric flux will be this 2,000 newtons per coulomb times the pi r squared. K dotted with K gives us the number one. Our answer for flux is a scalar. There's no direction anymore. So plugging this in, I find the electric flux is 4.6. And again, the units I can just look at what we've done. Newtons per coulomb for the electric field, meters squared for the area. So here is our flux. Now, just a side note makes sense of that. With this circle being oriented in the xy plane, an x component of electric field cannot pass through that circle because it's in the same plane. A y component of electric field cannot pass through that circle either because it too is in the same plane. It's only the z component that can physically pass through this circle, which is what this dot product gives us. But had you reasoned that out 
to begin with, you could have totally said this electric flux is simply that Z component of the electric field times the area. And you would get to the same answer because that's what we have here, the Z component of the electric field times the area.